two, the first one you've seen in the video right before this, that was the second one. It's probably the last time we're going to do it. What I want you to focus in, in on is the clarity, the crystal clear clarity in the piece itself. Okay, we've got a ton of glitter in here. So anything now that you're seeing more than likely is a glitter speck of the blue. It's a, there was thousands of glitter specks in the actual print. Uh, and then, you know, on top of that, um, it's, you know, it's 3D and everything like that, but it's the clarity. It's the clarity of the light. It's the clarity of the beams that you can see. It's the clarity. You can see me in there. Uh, it's just the clarity of it. So that is um, that is what we try to achieve with every pour. And again, it all stems back to all the things leading up to the pour. Now we know. We're glad we did the seal coat. Remember I was telling you about where these two sheets meet up in that seam line. It doesn't matter how tight they are. We weren't 110% sure what can happen in those two seam lines. So that's why we put down the seal coat to block whatever could have happened because think about the money we just poured out here. If that happened now, that was a silly step to skip when it was $20 in resin for a seal coat versus hundreds of dollars in a flood coat to figure it out. So that, that's the reason we did that. Now there's something else I wanna show you here in dealing with these drips. Okay, we're not a big fan of when this is done to, uh, you know, to sit here and sand all this stuff up. Dust goes everywhere, gets all over the top. You got to clean the top. There is a much better way. Along with getting these drips off, you can see they are still actively dripping, but they have slowed down compared to when we first took the tape off. So, Tom, let me know when we're about nine minutes, brother. All right. Um, what I want to tell you though, we probably do this within the next hour or two, this is going to be completely done, not moving, nothing else shifting. It's already in the gelling point. That's how much faster it is for tabletop resin versus casting resin. I don't just wait until right before it's getting tacky and, and going to quit dripping because there's other drips next to drips that are further along, that are not as far, that are on different time frames. So if I wait too long to do these swipes, I could end up going up and down where these are not coming off. And eventually with putting molding, with being a finish, you want that flat. So four to five times over the next hour or two, we will keep swiping until we are not swiping no more. If that makes sense. I'm gonna start up here. Tom, if you wanna come up here with me, Come up here right behind me, brother, and just follow me so they can see. We'll go all the way around the top here. I'm going to start right here. One of the thicker ones, longer ones, you know, the ones that they ah at the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Right up underneath, I'm going to go at a, a little bit of an angle here because if I go flat, it's going to start bunching up and riding up my sidewall. And then watch. This is another way you can tell that we are too soon getting them off. We're obviously gonna have to do this again because look at how that's still flowing. So that'll tell you. And see, this all stems back to what I showed you about screwing that down, creating that little pool. See, we don't have all this plastic everywhere. We're tripping over it, getting caught up in our, in our movement. And then we're just gonna turn the corner here. Now, as I go down this one, Tom, get low so they can see underneath. That's all we're doing. We're just keeping it, keeping in these, uh, we're just keeping the drips here from accumulating and starting to gel as little humps. We don't want the little humps. Now, to be honest, we could, we could literally start over and just go right back over. I'm not going to do all that. But, um, you could. Doesn't really serve a purpose. Now we're going to let those drip. Another five, ten minutes. I'll do it again. Another five, ten minutes. I'll do it again. Eventually, I'm going to go to do it. And there's nothing coming off on that stick. 
nothing. And that's when we know we're done. That's when we know everything is done moving. And at that point, it is in the curing stage of trying to, you know, harden up, if you will. So we hope that helps you as well. So we're going to we're gonna cut this off real quick because I need a smidge of video time left to end this. We're going to bring you right back. And I want to try to time this out here where it is our last time of getting off the drips um, so that you can kind of see the difference. So we'll be right back. All right, so look, you guys, we're about 40 minutes into our working time now. Okay, so everything is getting really close. Over the next hour or so, these drips right here are going to be completely done. And we're going to do them one more time real quick, but I wanted to show you, look at all that glitter, all that sparkle. And look how crystal clear. See my red cage back there in the back, and then you can see the actual cage itself. And then look at it in the resin. See, it's the clarity. It's the clarity. It's the depth at a very thin ratio that tricks the eye to make this seem like such a thick pool and it's not so another way you can tell when you're trying to get figure out if you have bubbles okay i'm barely above the surface here and see how those are popping you know dink 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 those are my little glitters see there's a blue one back there in the right corner i'm trying to make that hit so you can see it that's cool all these other ones are the original glitters in the fabric so I'm trying to get up on here there you go so you can actually see so a lot of times let me tell you something in a piece this size it is easy to have a little bubble in it you know theoretically let's face it to get them all out is probably impossible but it is, it is very cool to sit here and look across your piece with the clarity. That is what's most important. You just know all this hard work you've done has really made all that come to life. That's just a beautiful print. It's going to look so pretty going up against that shower. So here you go, Tom. So look, just real quick, because uh, I want to save, we're getting close. I've got probably a minute 30 to go. I want to save some video time, but we are definitely further along than we were. So I want to show you the difference up to this point. I'm just going to do a little bit here and look. Now, see when I turn that right side up, it's taken forever for that to move. Okay, before it was immediately just falling right off. That's where we're at in the process. And that is why, that is a sharp line. Go ahead and show them that sharp line, Tom. That is a sharp line right there. That's why we keep doing it. If this would have been the first time I would have done that, some of these other ones would have already started to gel. And we would be sitting here hopping over each one and, and then we just defeated the whole purpose of trying to get away from the sanding. So that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. I'm going to bring you right back hopefully and we're going to time this out where it's our last little thing here getting these off. All right, you guys, look, we love it. Absolutely love it. We'd love to hear what you think. We got a lot of hours into this. And just so you know, it's probably about 15 or so hours into it over the course of three to four days, if you were actually wondering. And that is because of all the dry times, cure times, in between everything. But we couldn't be happier. They're going to love this in their bathroom, no doubt. 